Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at our first Cauchy Euler equation, and we're going to find this is going to be very quick to solve. Provided you know your fundamentals, for a Cauchy Euler equation, we start with y equals x to the m. Calculate your derivatives, but the first derivative and second derivative get multiplied by powers of x that match the order of the derivative. All three of these quantities are the same for every Cauchy Euler equation, so make sure you know them. It'll make it very quick to convert from the equation to the auxiliary equation. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to already factor out x to the m from everything. So if we plug in, looks like our x squared y double prime term, we just get m times m minus 1. There's no extra coefficients. All right, our next term here, the xy prime, that's m, but we're multiplying by 4. And then our y term, we multiply that by 2. We factored x to the m out, so we're just left with plus 2. All right, and we now have the auxiliary equation for the values of m that give us our solutions. We're going to always see if we can factor that, always expand this term, m squared minus m plus 4m plus 2. You have some like terms, m squared plus 3m plus 2. And I think we've lucked out. This one factors. Looks like we can factor that as m plus 2 times m plus 1. And in this case, we get two distinct real roots for m. Looks like we get m equals negative 2 and m equals negative 1. Each value of m gives you a solution here. So let's go ahead and write it down. We'll get a constant c1 times x to the negative 2, and then another constant c2 times x to the negative 1, and we are done. The only other thing I'll mention for this problem, some books and resources might write those negative powers as 1 over powers of x. So this is the same thing as c1 divided by x squared plus c2 divided by x. Just a different way to write your solution. Again, this goes very quick if you know how to convert from the Cauchy Euler equation to the auxiliary equation. Make sure you know these three quantities, y, xy prime, and x squared y double prime. Those are always the same in every Cauchy Euler equation. Hope you enjoyed the short video, support the channel, like and subscribe.